So the next part in our quest to download Windows 11 onto an older laptop is to get a copy of the Windows 11 ISO. And to do that, just go into um, Google, type in Windows 11 ISO, and you'll come to the Windows 11 download page, the official one from Microsoft. Now, you've got two options for downloading the ISO image. First of all is this section here which will just download the ISO um, straight away. Or you've got this one here. Um, and I use this one here about using the installation media because actually it's slightly quicker and the file is slightly smaller than this option here. Don't ask me why, it just is. So all we would do here is just click on download and there you go, you can see that I've downloaded it multiple times. And we're gonna say yes, we want it to start working. And then we're just gonna click on accept. And then I'm just going to accept those, use those um, options there. That's fine. And on this section here, you want to do the ISO file. We don't want to do the USB flash drive. We want to do the ISO file. And it will be obvious why we want to just do the ISO file um, in the next stage of the installation. But at this point, just trust me and select that. Right, I want it to store. This is where do you want it to save it to? I want it on my desktop so it's nice and obvious I don't forget it. And it's just going to save it as Windows 11, Windows. OK, so now the download is finished and it's just checking it and making sure that it's the download is a workable copy. OK, so there we go. You can see that the download has completed and it's checked it out and it believes it to be OK. So if you just want to check just to make sure, for instance, I've got it on my desktop here. So that is absolutely fine if we check the um, check the properties just to make sure that it is completed the download and it's an ISO file. And there we go. So the next stage is where we're going to download another piece of free and fantastic software that turns this ISO file into a bootable USB drive. And not only does it, stand, does it turn it into a bootable, a standard bootable USB drive, but it turns it into a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 for an older laptop. OK, so we have got the Windows 11 ISO file and we've got our old laptop. Now what we need to do is we need to download a piece of software called Rufus. It's totally free and it's safe. It's a great piece of software. And this converts that ISO file into, into something, into a bootable system that goes onto a USB stick. So at this point, you do need your USB stick. You need at least eight gigabytes of a USB stick that you don't, you only want to use for this because when it creates this bootable Windows 11, it's going to wipe everything else off. And this is a really small piece of software, so it downloads in seconds. So as you can see, I typed into Google Rufus USB. And here we go. The download is just here. 3.2 is the latest um, version. 
and then you can see in the downloads it appears up there and here we go so in the first section here what you want to do is you want to this needs to select your USB stick that you've put in okay and then this section here we want that ISO file so we're going to go to the desktop and that Windows file and we're going to select that this image option keep it as standard Windows installation don't do Windows to go and then this is the most important thing here really um, the MBR partition option here is for older laptops those those are laptops which just use a standard BIOS to start up sorry standard BIOS to start to start up the other option for slightly newer laptops is GPT which uses the UF UEFI uh, startup system but for this video I'm going to do the, the MBR and then everything else is we you don't have to touch and then you can just set it off on its way as soon as you press start this is where the magic happens because what it is what uh, Rufus is doing here is it's making it's making this um, installation so that it can go on an old laptop it's basically doing it's basically providing some hacks so that um, yeah so that Windows 11 can be um, put onto an old laptop so make sure at least these two options these top options are selected and um, I would also go for disable the data collection which will just speed up the process a little bit more and then when when those two or three options are selected just press OK it will give you a warning to say that your USB stick will be completely wiped and you can see on the screen at the bottom there's a green progress bar and at the moment it's just at one percent so this will take about 15 to 20 minutes in my experience And this is where it's applying the Windows customizations or those hacks that enable us to install Windows 11 on older laptops. And there we go. We now have a usable USB stick with Windows 11 on it. So the next stage is to stick, put the stick into the laptop and then install Windows 11. So having made a modified copy of Windows 11, I'm back on the E6320 with my USB stick and we're going to see whether or not we can load Windows 11 onto this laptop. 
Now just to say that this laptop has been upgraded, currently it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and instead of a standard SATA hard disk drive, it's got a solid state drive. So let's turn her on. Press F12 to get the boot menu. Point it to the USB. Okay, so everything's um, set for the United Kingdom. Let's keep that. Okay, I don't want to put in a product here at the moment. Windows 11 Home is fine. Accepting Microsoft term, I'm going to do an advanced. Let's get rid of these partitions. Okay, off we go. Okay, so I will want the um, region set to the UK. Keyboard to the UK, I don't want another keyboard layout. Excellent. So there we go, in a little over 18 minutes, we have got a successful installation of 
Windows 11 on the latitude E6320. And to see how successful, I just want to check a few settings to see that everything is working as it should be. So the first thing I want to do is check the activation. Is this copy of Windows 11 activated? And it seems as though it is, which is perfect. So the next thing I want to do is look at updates. Will it enable us to update Windows 11? Okay, so we'll leave that running for a time. Just minimize that. We can see from the drivers, we can see that all of the different hardware in the laptop, such as the Wi-Fi, the sound, is all working absolutely fine. There's um, even Bluetooth that it's picked up, which is terrific. And the display is working perfectly. That's a really crisp display. And that's great because we don't have to go on a driver hunt for anything if we're running Windows 11. Okay, so let's get back to those updates. Let's see how it's doing. Yep, so it's enabling us to update itself, which is perfect. Now the, the last thing I want to do is I just want to shut this laptop down and then to tie how long it takes to start up and to load and to actually enable me to start working on it. So there we go, it's all turned off properly. So I'm just going to get my timer on. And let's see how it does. Remember it's got eight gigabytes of RAM in it and it's got an SSD. So it is a more powerful than standard. It would help if I put the right pin in, wouldn't it? Okay, perfect. So that is about, by my reckoning, that's a 40 second startup time. So if any of you are looking to run Windows 11 on the Latitude E6320, I hope this guide has been helpful.